Hello everyone, Chris here, and it's been quite a long time since I've made a video, but I've been ill recently, so uh, I'll use that as an excuse. This is going to be a review on the Forty Creek Whiskey Cigar. Uh, doesn't say much about that, it just says it's a Canadian whiskey that's been used. Uh, specifically, hand-rolled in the Dominican Republic, premium long-leaf tobaccos, Forty Creek Whiskey Seasoned. Just going to let you have a look at that. I'm not sure how well this will focus, if it ever does. Here we go. As you can see, I just started opening it. That wasn't there. Uh, it says Ted Scars there and the uh, website URL, tedscars.com. Don't really know much about that. And of course, the band is this way. A little bit unusual for some cigars. <coughs> I don't think this is ever going to focus. I usually have problems with this. There we go. This was sent to me by a friend of, me, a friend of mine and a friend of the channels. Um, it's from the US. From what I can tell, this is kind of like a um, not like your convenience store cheap cigars, but it's kind of like um, a cheapish premium cigar. From the best I could tell, I don't really know too much about it. But uh, all I can say is the cigar prices in the US are cheap, far, far, far cheaper than here. A little bit of a sponge and cap. Oh. Okay, so um that's a really, really sweet smell. Like it's almost, you know, um when you're caramelizing sugar, not quite when it's, you know, caramel like, but uh we started to get quite a hefty, very sweet smell of it. That does have the faint, um, kind of like a faint, very sweet peat smell that you tend to get from whiskies. But um, this is going to be one of those really uh, very sweet glazes. You get them on the acid scars. But uh, I don't think it's going to be quite as exotic as those. It just smells like an extremely sweet cigar, though. I think it's um, it's really overpowering right now. Not much else to it, but overall, looks like quite a nice cigar. Looks like it's rolled quite nicely. Mm, bit of veins here and there, nothing bad. The uh, wrapper looks pretty solid. Feels pretty solid. Uh, no real major defects, and the cap looks pretty good. So, uh, there's not much to this cigar. I'm never going to get used to the band being this direction. Although, one day it will eventually focus. <laughs> there we go. Looks like a barn of some sort. A barn with a stream in front of it. Possibly. Maybe just a house. I like uh, interesting bands. I made Dominican Republic. So, uh, breaking out the uh, good old butterfly car. Little bit of uh, ripping right there. If you just, uh, if a bit of your scar rips, but the wrapper lifts up, I usually just flick my finger, rub a bit, and then hold it down, and it sticks. Wrapper's coming apart on me here. That tastes just like a drink that's not quite whiskey, I don't know how to describe it. Um. Oh, have you ever had those um, very sugary drinks, like uh, the bubblegum flavoured drinks? That's really close to that. So I'm going to quickly stop this recording and uh, make sure that this wrapper isn't going to fall apart on me. Because uh, I've had that happen a few times before and it doesn't lead to a good review. So uh, 
I'll be back in a second. Let you know. Make sure it's fine. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, as I said, I got this from a friend and uh, it is an American cigar. Well, it came from America. So it probably got bastard around in the tube a little bit, but I think I've saved it. Uh, the wrapper, I noticed a little bit of a tear in it when I was in the tube. I thought it'd be fine, but it's kind of a little bit wonky in terms of just the wrapper up here unraveling and cracking. So I just moved the band up a little bit and it seems to be fine now. You know, we're just looking for something to smoke. We're not looking for something that's in the perfect amount. It seems constructed fine, maybe a low weekly, because this seems to be the only scar that really got damaged at all in the postage, if it uh, wasn't before. So uh, we'll see on that. But it does feel like I'm drawing out the end of the scar. It doesn't feel like there's any more holes or tears throughout because of the wrapper, so it should smoke perfectly fine. Yeah, um... When I said those bubblegum drinks, <laughs> it tastes like, um, if you've ever had ice pops or ice bowls, whatever you call them, where you come from, basically frozen uh, sugary uh, drinks, I guess. Um, yeah, it's really just like those. So uh, it actually seems kind of pleasant, but uh, we'll have to get to it. We'll see how it works when it's burning. <coughs> So I've uh, delayed this long enough, let's put this go. I said to get a new lighter by the way, because this one is double jet. It kind of lights a horizontal flame, so I need to uh, keep things spinning. Also, it's just not very good. I have to keep it quite close, and I don't like having the flame this close. So I'd say to get a triple jet. You could also use single jets, those work fine. But I need something that I could still carry with me. So I got a triple jet pocket lighter. I actually can't see what I'm uh, lighting half the time, by the way. I'm just sort of eyeballing it. Actually, look at a cigar when you light it. And uh, before you ask, yes, I am out of long matches. I really don't think a small match would do here. A little bit sweet, but it's a very, very light earthly taste. I almost uh, thought it tasted a little bit like almonds there, but maybe not quite. There's something, something very light there. Some not your flavor that's quite light. It's not quite almonds, but it's similar. Really, um, with scars like this, I think they're usually glazed. You get a bit of the taste, but it's mostly because your lips are on this, and it's, it's like I've just pasted my lips with sugar, honestly. Very, very um, thin smoke. It's very light, quite a little, very little uh, almost body to it. It's very little. I'm also just going to start my stopwatch because uh, just so I can let you know how long this cigar lasts for me. I usually forget to start that. But the burn, it's quite nice. Even a cheap cigar could be very, very nice. I really need to be careful. Last time I did that, I burnt my hands quite bad. I 
there's very little to this cigar taste wise it's really um <clears throat> it's actually quite a hollow taste i could really describe it's just quite light like there's a, a shell there but there's no there's no strength in there this is extremely pleasant actually but uh the flavor not quite there you do have a little bit of the sweetness and i guess that is the flavor you're supposed to be getting there's no uh no hefty tobaccos in this Definitely a bit grassy as well. In terms of uh, that region of flavors, it's definitely there. I usually uh, mix these two a bit, uh, not quite towards the hay scale, more towards just grass tasting. That is a uh, really surprisingly pleasant light smoke everything so far I'm already liking the cigar it's actually really really good it's not um I do actually smoke a lot of really hefty cigars for uh, that kind of flavor but this I don't know it's just a really smooth cigar it's really it's a really creamy taste it's really nice uh, nice light texture it's something that I'd imagine anyone could enjoy so uh, since th I did say this is kind of like um from what I could work out with the other cigars they had to compare it to this seems to be a budget premium cigar and by premium I just mean not quite what you would find in a convenience store like quorums in the US etc so uh, this is probably a very good alternative, you know, cheap alternative to scars for Americans, I guess. I don't really know where else you could uh, get these, but if you could, I'm liking this start. But as I said, we'll have to really see as we get through the scar. I'm making our clip when we're, you know, a third halfway through this. When we get towards the end, I'll make another finishing clip. Although we might have a bit of issues with the wrapper, so be warned about that. So I will see you in a little bit. We are uh, 32 minutes into the score. I don't have too much to add. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is still about. I've just spent, you know, like a month plus with the flu. Doing the whole uh, man flu thing. But, uh, it's feeling like it's a little bit oversmoked. Although that's probably just me. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Tiny, um, no real spice in this at all. Maybe the slightest hint of something that might be considered, you know, harsh or anything like that. But, um, surprisingly little tar. That's, uh, usually a little bit of a problem with some cheaper scars. The burn has been really good. Um, I've had this sitting in my uh, humidor to climb ties for a little while. I thought it has been in the uh, tube, so it's you know going to be fine. By the way, I puff it a lot less often than this when I'm not recording. But I just do these uh, when I'm in these recording clips. I need to. Uh, Smoke a bit more than usual just to uh, get an idea of the flavor. I'm long overdue for a haircut. I guess um, definitely the grass notes have really stepped up a bit. I would say it's probably gone... It's kind of... Earth is usually just quite a rough flavor. And it's gone from maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit earthy to a little bit tangy. Maybe that's probably where a little bit of spice is coming from. But still, really pleasant scar. The first ash, about an inch, I guess. 
this one probably going to be about the same, you know, falls off it here maybe. So, about right. The wrapper here is peeling back just a little bit. It's still really pleasant. So I was looking at the prices of these, these average maybe six-ish dollars in the US. Which uh, I would imagine if it was sold here, it would be on the 11-ish pound cigars, 11-12 maybe. Which in the US right now with a really bad exchange rate is at most maybe a 17-ish dollar. So the price, the price jump is like uh, about three times from there to here. And it doesn't really matter too much on the quality of the cigar. Like in the US, you get two dollar cigars and you get six dollar cigars, and they're um, that's like bottom range to quite a decent range, eight dollars for a good range sometimes, up to ten for the really good premium cigars I've seen in a lot of cases. Not the extremely expensive or price cigars, but uh, here even good cigars that are really cheap can be ten quid, and. Uh, they're not much different than some premium scars that are 12, 14, so. It's why we do have a lot of crap scars in the UK though, I would imagine. In the US, it's just like throwaway, but uh, here we need bad scars just to be at a somewhat affordable price. Still, still quite a whole flavour. At some point, um, maybe after the first dash, after the first inch or so, I did notice that it was a little bit, um, a bit of the sweet flavour was kicking in. It was definitely coming from the wrapper. But I've not noticed it too much. So uh, I guess it's not really well infused, but it's a quite pleasant scar nonetheless. Yeah, drinking fizzy drinks makes you buff a lot, on my case. Still burning quite nicely, everything's going quite great. Quite a nice ash. The layering, not too much in the way of layering to be honest, but uh, it's all together quite solid. I like it. So far, so good. Just making a short segment. Well, it's supposed to be short, but it's quite long now. I will uh, see you when I get towards the end of the scar. And I may have to end early depending on the situation. When I take this band off, this might kind of fall apart. So we'll have to see about that. I'll see you in a few minutes. I mean, uh, for you a few seconds, for me maybe 15 minutes. So I think I'm going to be ending this review here. I have a feeling it's a bit to uh, fall apart. We are just about an hour in. An hour for a scar the size. Not the best, not the worst. Could be four or five minutes, could be two hours. One hour is not bad. Again, I do smoke it a little bit quick in the review segments. As you could uh, quite clearly see here, the entire wrapper is starting to unravel a little bit. It's literally fine if I just hold it in, but uh, as the scar swells, as I smoke through it, it is expanding. This wrapper is pulling itself apart a bit, so it's probably quite good to uh, conclude this review here. Of course, maybe another 10 minutes here which I will be smoking for as long as it stays together. But it's going to end the review on a good note. Towards the end, it is picking up a bit of the spice you usually get. Um, if you're quite new to the scar reviews, you'll find that uh, very many scars as you get towards the end will just really pick up in spice. This one really is not picking up in the tar. It's actually still relatively dry. I'm, uh, I must confess I'm a bit of a wet smoker myself, usually the uh, the plug really gets gunked up a bit. But um, here it's pretty fine. I've quite enjoyed this cigar, it really started off as a really good light taste. Midway it was still there, you know, they, it was still really creamy, it's still really smooth. It did feel like um, not a heavily investable cigar in terms of your time, like you're not going to sit there and smoke this. And, you know, just do nothing else. Some scars you could do that, just really just sit and enjoy the scar. This would be a scar you're doing with other things, maybe a social occasion, you know, uh, when you're out with people, you can smoke it then, you'll enjoy it as well as just, you know, the social aspect or 
when you're working, maybe just wherever you could want to add a bit of enjoyment to your day. This seems like a very good scarf for that. Providing you're in a place you could smoke it. It's getting pretty bad now. But yeah, good start, good mid, a little bit spicy towards the end, which is not bad. Some people do like that. I don't mind it. Depending on the scar, it could actually improve or take away from the flavor. It's a bit hit and miss. Really depends on what you like. But um, yeah, kind of pleasant scar. I think it's worth the price if you're in the US. Although I'm not in the US, I can't really uh, compare it to other scars in a price range or cheaper scars, which may be better. But I quite like it. So uh, that's everything here. One thing I would say is that it, uh, initially the whole whiskey thing, as with a lot of flavors, is just gimmicky. When you uh, actually start smoking it, you get a tiny bit in, then that gimmick's worn off. And, you know, you don't really taste it or affect anything anymore. So uh, it's my first review in quite a long time. It's been quite a while, and I am regretting not reviewing scars. I've not even smoked all that much, especially when I'm ill, I can't really smoke. Um, but I think... Uh, this is a very good scar. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. There's also other things in the description of my video. There's places where I usually buy my scars in the UK. Uh, there's links there. You can click on those and it will take you to where I do buy them. There's also my Facebook page for Scar Hub and that will give you... Uh, I post a lot of things there, updates, uh, you know, scar reviews when I'm going to do them in advance. So you can be there. I often live stream a lot of my reviews on YouTube. I haven't this one and I haven't my last one because... Uh, just it's been a while since I've done them. But I'm planning to do more, so you'll find out there beforehand. Um, there's also my Patreon page in case you want to support me. But it's not an obligation to anyone. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.